Hey guys, it's Arc Streams here. Long time I haven't put up a video. First of all, I want to apologize for the low quality video and the uh, most likely a low volume, low audio. Uh, I just I'm using a Chromebook and I had an external camera I I put on it because it's a little better. But I noticed some of the features are missing, so I cannot set it up right. I did what I could in the short time I have. So put on your earbuds if you're having trouble hearing me, okay? So basically, I've been doing some fishing at night, uh, going after catfish, you know, bullheads. And I do it two ways. I bottom fish, and I obviously use a bell for that to indicate a strike. Or I... Uh, been noticing I catch much I do you know much better using a floater topside fishing so the place I'm at is a bit dark there you know um, and I have to use a uh, you know a, either a glow in the dark or a light in the dark float so and I never like those like you buy them they're sometimes they could be expensive you know and they're not very buoyant that's the other thing you know um, and uh, I mean like the first ones that came out with were I think Fox Lure or something it's like you know pencil thin and I don't know if they're used for trout or what but the slightest weight on it it sinks it like you can't even put a fly on this thing it'll go down you know so anyway I figured I get a little creativity here and maybe make my own so let me show you the first one I came up with uh, this is just a plastic bottle that contained like uh, glue you know crazy glue and I put aluminum foil on the bottom for a reflector um, this is the cap and what I did here was I used you could see that closer uh, what is this a butterfly uh, locking nut I guess or whatever you know and I used uh, contact cement to put it on and this thing here is uh, one of these, I don't know what you call them, you know, they screw in the wall and then to put the screw in or hang a screw for stability or whatever. You can see this one's little, it's got a slot, right? So it's perfect. This is not the exact one I used here. Uh, this one is a little thicker, more heavy duty. And let me see if you could see that. You see that little hole I put in there? Yeah, I drilled the hole through it, right? Um, this way I could put the line through the slot and then out through the hole so that the line, you know, the leader's coming down, everything's nice and centered. But I noticed it was giving me a bit of trouble when I was retrieving it and uh, <coughs> it wouldn't go down, slide down all the way. So whatever, I just, I put it, I put the line through the slot instead, right? So, and it's working fine. Uh, inside I had to put like a neoprene or something plastic flexible like uh, to act as a watertight seal okay now for the LEDs uh, I got a few different ones here I guess this is what they call the conventional five millimeter okay there we go and this one here I don't know if you guys have ever seen them but uh, there were the electronic store I was at I don't know what these are they're like maybe 10 millimeters or bigger and both of them work very well on on these batteries right these I guess 3 volt pill type watch watch batteries and look I get five of them for like two bucks you know at the dollar store here's the battery number right here okay maybe there's different kinds so that's one cut of the costly item then you got a you know the LEDs but they're not that expensive anyways and I don't know how much this comes up to to build each float but it's cheaper for me you know and I'm sure you'll be happy with it next the LEDs I have to find a way to um, to hold them and to you know uh, capture the light and make it uh, disperse so it's more visible so I use this like rubber tube okay I squeezed it and I inserted two small five millimeters in here and 
this is what it looks like. Well, let me see here. Okay, there you go. Okay. There's the two LEDs, the prongs, electrodes sticking out, right? So for the battery to hold them, I grabbed this thing and I slid it on. You may have to uh, cut it up a little more to open it up. I slid the battery in, so let me just put it together here. I have to, it's a little tricky. You slide the prongs in, okay. Now it's slid up. Uh, now, put it in the tube. This is, I don't know if, it's uh, red LEDs, right? So it's super bright now because I'm using two of them. But I guess the camera's not showing it very well. It's red. And I just put like a styrofoam on top of the prongs. So it squeezes them together. And it holds the whole thing tightly inside. There's no movement. Let me attach this. Okay, and there we go. takes a pretty good beating stays on right okay that's one and yes we can test it in the water so the nut here I put for like a balance right uh, in the water and let me show you what it looks like right now it's hanging a bit diagonal uh, you know sideways but when I put the uh, the weight on it the sinker and I think I'm using like a quarter ounce sinker it goes nice and straight so but I'll show you how it's done put this one right here for now okay now after I did this thing I go there's got to be like <laughs> much easier than this to do it um, and I thought of using the idea came to my mind to use a uh, kindergarten egg you know those ones when we ate when we were kids, right? Well, I think they're like the right size, right buoyancy, and they're probably watertight, right? They're much easier. And so I went and got one of those. Here it is. And it's basically the same thing. The same design, you know, with the bottom, with the counterweight. And here you can see how I have the uh, stopper, bobber stopper and the bead. And I got the, I think it's, I'm not sure, this might be a quarter ounce weight, you know, with the swivel. And then you got your leader on the bottom. Um, I didn't, I tried putting it through the hole, but for some reason when I'm retrieving it, it wasn't, it wasn't like sliding easily. So I said, fuck it, I'll just put it through the, uh, through the slot, right? So it's like this. And let me show you the inside. How simple it is. Now, I had the idea of putting an LED in here, right? And I said to myself, let me see if somebody else thought of that, right? So I'm look, I'm like, I'm sure somebody else thought of using kindergarten eggs for floaters. And so I, I went on YouTube, I looked around a little bit, and sure enough, there was like a few of them, but only one guy who actually, <laughs> who put a glow stick in it. To make it uh, light up right okay that's not bad but uh, I don't like those they what are they gonna last you an hour or so and they're probably not that bright you may have to put two in here and uh, I don't know they're not cheap everywhere and they're not easily found everywhere you know where I'm at uh, I don't find those things I don't go to a, the store a fishing store to get them they're expensive and you know they don't last long these things last hundreds of hours much better right so I think I'm the first one to come up with this, at least that I've seen on YouTube. Inside, I'm not gonna pull it out, but basically it's just a piece of styrofoam that I cut out, right? It's a block. And I I hollowed it out a bit. Oh, let me see if I can get it out here. Okay, just a second. Alright. Nope. Okay, so that's it. It's just styrofoam that I've 
hollowed out a little so I can insert the uh, the the battery in here halfway right and then and then I shove it in back in here it stays in right it supports everything on the bottom and when I put the LED in it keeps it from moving around so let me try with the big one here right this one is clear just a white light LED see what it looks like oh yeah okay it's a little bright on the camera let me see if I shut this light off uh, same thing okay anyway but look at this isn't that amazing beautiful this is yellow right now right let me show you in the water what it looks like see it's got the weight it's perfectly balanced so so this is the simpler one you know and these I don't care if I lose it or it breaks I can easily put one together again right let me show you another color for it now I was worried that because this thing is yellow um, you know all I can use is like the the clear uh, LED and it'll be nice yellow but I go I figured like other colors won't will be weird but no look at this uh, what is this one this is red this is red as well see and that's just one it's nice and bright let me use a green one I like those those are more sensitive which way is it going and that's the green right it's hard to tell on the camera I know it sucks the colors crap but anyway so that's it that's my idea um, for floaters right uh, let me show you this floater I got last summer uh, let me turn the lights back on I don't know if you guys ever seen this one okay there we go zoom in come on okay there you go it's three in one right so it's a slip float and it's also can be used as a as a lighter float but check this out you open it up what I like about this one okay even though it was giving me trouble uh, a friend of mine got this and he told me where he got it was they were like giving them away for like a buck okay so that's crazy he just gave me one and it worked out okay for a while but then water was getting in and then this thing was shorting out it was not you know like I was having problems with it and it would shut off then I have to bring it back play with it it turns on hopefully with this new one I'm gonna make sure I they say to close it really tight you know so water doesn't get in even though I thought I was doing that, I was worried about if I close it too tight, it would ruin the rubber seal or, or it would leak. Um, let's see, what does it say here? Okay, so it's got three, three in one. I guess the one is that it's a slip floater. The other one is that it's got nine to 11 hours, uh, stays on when it's blinking. So that's one mode or six to eight hours oops sorry yeah six to eight hours if it's steady so let me show you what it looks like inside and screw it okay this is one thing I like about these is they don't use those stupid pe pencil type batteries those are expensive right so so the float it costs to replace a new one you might as well just you know to get a whole new floater because the the cost of the battery is what it, what it's all about right but with this one I open this cap it's got those two little uh, I don't know what size they are but you've seen these batteries right the pill types and that's great because these are easily replaceable and they're cheap as hell and then it's got a switch here so if I switch it down it's it's steady okay back on uh, middle it's off and on the top it blinks 
pretty cool eh maybe I can make a little circuit for mine to do that too <laughs> anyway so that's it for the floaters uh, let me turn this on here for comparison see yeah mine's pretty brighter nice okay now uh, the other thing is a strike indicator right um, instead of a bell you can use you can use an LED light again let me show you what I did is I took this plastic uh, clothespin okay and I just put a battery on it with a rubber to hold a uh, rubber band to hold it and then just insert your LED through the bottom and through the rubber and that's it. it stays on right here's your rod and let me just put this see there it goes stays on the tip of the rod indicates when it's striking or another thing is you can attach it to uh, to your line you know on between the the, the ring guides like that Oop. okay so if you got a strike if the fish takes it, it, you, it you'll see it go up right or if it uh, comes towards you it'll go down right and uh if you have it on your it now you could probably strike set the hook with this thing still on your rod whether it's on the rod or the or the line but uh i wouldn't recommend it like you know don't don't take a risk and cast with it just treat it like a bell and take it off right so yeah these are just a few ideas I had uh, I think this is hopefully you know unique one and just wanted to show you guys so this is much better than getting ripped off each time you can easily build these things right uh, and just use a little contact cement uh, no not contact cement I tried that first and it was like I don't know what the what would the deal with that is it was taking too long so I used an epoxy you know like it's like the JB weld but it's clear and I got everything from the dollar store you know uh, well not everything just the glue the batteries right uh, I mean what's gonna cost the most is probably just your LEDs and the battery one time but then you, you figure it out e each floater you make with it it's probably very cheap you know okay guys so that's it for me and my Blow on the dark toys here if you have any questions uh, please leave me a comment you know I'd like to hear from you guys hit the like button subscribe even though I don't put out that many videos <laughs> maybe I should monetize this one all right uh, yeah this one lasts too very durable all right guys Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later.